<laughs> My glowstone's still floating up. Oh, I just love watching this. I don't know why. It's just really cool how this goes. That's uh, pretty cool. Might make something aesthetic out of that eventually. Even I, I, I come in here, I go grab it, put it back, grab it, put it back. But yeah, whatever. You do the intro. Yeah, yo, yo, do the intro. Hey guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Minecraft. Feed the Beast. Infinity. Oh yeah. Don't forget expert mode. Oh, expert mode. You're so fun, expert mode. You make things so difficult. So difficult. Anger. Rage. Yeah, whatever. So, as you can see, I have a lot of random things in my inventory. And a lot of cool little new toys. I upgraded to signal and pickaxes and shovels, and I added some RF uh, modifiers to them. Upgraded my flux capacitor to redstone, so it holds up to 4 million RF. Makes mining so much easier. I can just mine and mine and mine and just mine some more and not worry about power at all. But when this does start running low and I have to charge it, well, this infuser's nice. I upgraded it to the reinforce, which is the third best here. So it, the, the infuser charges it quickly, but charging the infuser sort of slow because uh, my uh, leadstone flux ducts are just a little archaic. I'm going to have to get to upgrading my power uh, situation eventually, but that's not what I'm doing right now. Right now, right now, I'm playing around with this bad boy. This bad boy. The harvester. Oh, the harvester. And the sludge boiler. The wonderful little sludge boiler. Are you going to hurt me? I was like messing with it earlier and it like hurt me. I was like, splah, bah. Ah, the sludge. Pain. Sludge is poisonous, if you didn't know. And sludge is made from uh, chopping down trees. So, yeah. I, I, I thought it would be necessary to build the sludge boiler if I'm going to have a harvester. Can I sleep? Thank you. Odd little thing. I had, like, just a couple minutes ago, I just made this, and I just made this. They're both fresh. Freshly made. Nothing, didn't, I didn't even put them down. Nothing on them. I set the, uh, the furnace down. Furnace down? Furnace down. God, I am talking way too quick. Let's slow it down a little bit. So I dropped the furnace, and then I put down the harvester. The harvester got powered. I was thinking, how did you get powered from a generator that has no power? I have no idea. Random bug, I think, or I, I don't know. I just don't know. That's not what I want. I want you. Get you in there. So, like I said in the last episode, I wanted to get this uh, harvester up and running, and that's what I'm working on right now. And I'm seeing how this is going to work. I'm thinking I'm going to have it like, like a small little patch in front of it like this. I don't know what the radius is. I don't know what the default radius is. I know I have to probably put uh, radius upgrades to it, but I just wanted to see how this is. So let's do that and see how it does. Are you going to harvest it? It's good that I grabbed that one. I don't think it's going to harvest that one. Are you, can I do this? Can I do this close? So when I tested it before in a creative world, I couldn't get this these to harvest correctly because they grew. They didn't grow because they were too close to this. But I think since I push it this far, going that way and then up, it should work. Okay, you're not great. This watering can's not great for this. Do I have any bones in my storage? Bones, bones, bones. I need to make a mob farm. I need to make a mob farm. I need, I need to do that. Bones. I have I have enough bones. Let's grab just two. Two bones should be enough, I think. Whoosh. I need to get to upgrading my jetpack again. It's so slow. It's nice to have, but it's really slow. Okay, are you gonna grow? Are you gonna grow? You're not gonna grow. Wait. Wait. No. 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 You can't. <laughs> it's a. Why are these sacred? No, you can't be sacred. Stop it. Sacred. <gasps> you can't grow. <laughs> I know what sacred river trees are. I think that has to be a bug. That can't be true. Because they're not... They're... 
Sake. It's like sake. No. Spell correctly. Sacred Ever Tree. Maybe. Maybe I'm getting that mistaken. Is there a different rubber tree that was sacred? Rubber. Oh, I was thinking of this one. The sacred rubber tree. That's. This thing will destroy my world if that grew. Okay. Okay. False alarm. False alarm. Oh. Whew. In my Sky Factory thing, I like messed around with the sacred. That sacred tree. It's like. That thing is massive. It would destroy absolutely everything if that was a thing. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to get this thing set up correctly. Maybe get an upgrade for this. Get this thing all wired up. Try to figure out how these, how to get these things to grow on Q. And I will bring you guys back. Hey guys, welcome back for a little, uh, little addition. So I was trying to figure out how to get more bone meal out of the bones I have because... I don't want, since I don't have the mob farm getting bones, it's like, eh, not too easy. I figured out, I'll just burn some saplings, get some wood ash, and I can get three extra. I think it's three extra. Three extra? Like how much does, how much does one give me? One gives me three. And then with the bone meal, gives, so you get four extra, which is, that's, 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 that's good. So if you ever don't have an easy access to bones, you need, you need the bone meal. Just burn up some saplings uh, to get the wood ash, and then you you will be able to get it quite a bit. Anyways, back to work. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've made a little bit of progress, and I got myself this thing uh, powered nonstop with this bad boy. I threw in a stack of charcoal to skip powered. I got the planter powered, and just putting some bit mainly putting in some uh, rubber saplings, so it always replaces. And what else is happening is, so this is generating sludge, and then up here, I have this guy powered and ready to boil said sludge. And what I do need to do now, though, is I need a way to pull the items it produces, like it, boil, it boils the sludge, you get items. So I need to pull the items out, and probably bring it back down here to an, just a chest, just to have the sludge stuff in. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put it right there, maybe? Now let's just actually just break this. Thank you. Let's take one of these. Ugh. Hello. Oh, we can see it happen. Can I do it? Yeah, works pretty well. Pretty good. Pretty pretty well. But the unfortunate part is when there's sludge in here. I think when it boils the sludge, it hurts me. So let's see. Yeah. Ouch. Ouch. See, yeah, <laughs> that's what that's why I have it up here away from me because this 14 hunger, 14 seconds of hunger, like six seconds of poison. It's like, oh, so are you gonna hurt me right now? No, it only hurts you when it boils the sludge, I think. So, what I need to do is I'm going to do go down here, like, oh, wait, can I do that? That's gonna have hmm, I need to pull it out too. Actually, I don't want that. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whatever. It's not going to kill me. It's not going to kill me. I'm fine. Don't be such a worry wart. Okay, come out here, down here like this. Is this slow enough? Um, cause I want the chest maybe. Let's put the chest right here. Sure. That'll work fine. That'll work peachy. Pretty cool. Dance. Do dance. Come on, we up. And then connect it like that. And that should do that. That should solve that problem. Let's, let's see. What kind of stuff do I, So, the stuff you get from it, you can get decaying wheat, you can get clay, you can get sand. I don't know if you can get dirt. You might be able to get dirt, because I don't know how I got coarse dirt. That might be the only other way. The clay part's pretty nice, so I'm not gonna have to go around and digging up clay anymore. So hopefully that's good. Oh wait. Leave that open for now. I'll I'll make it look pretty eventually. This is just to get it to work. So that's doing that. So let's see. What else do I need to do? What I want to do is I need to set up a way where I can pull the rubber saplings out of there 
and instantly put them into the planter and a way where I can just automatically power this generator. And I was gonna do that by having the wood get burned in this iron furnace, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. So let's see, powered furnace, furnace is right there. That's there, so let's maybe put furnace back here maybe? No, would that work? No, hmm. Let's figure out where I'm gonna put this out. Let me let me figure where I'm gonna put this out. Let me figure out where I'm going to put this. Ooh. Word order, sir. Word order. Get it correct. Thank you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I am done. I am so done with this build. And it was fairly fun, fairly good, fairly uh productive. So, as you can see, I have a one, two, three, four, five, a five by four little block of trees so that's about 20 trees that have a chance of growing and this thing's going to instantly harvest it up it's going to put all of the rubber in here all of the tree saplings in here eventually because right now all the tree saplings are being funneled into the planter that is underneath this one i think the tree planter is underneath this uh, block so see they're going away yeah cool so that's doing that and then i have the wood being put into here the wood's being pulled out and thrown into a furnace and is pumping the charcoal into here. And then it's also, the furnace is also powering itself and powering the furnace generator that's underneath there, powering this and that. And I think I got everything done. Let's go down here and take a look. Aha. So it is not pretty down here in the least. It is severely, severely unorganized and very, very uh, poorly designed. I don't care at this point. I got it working. It doesn't take up a whole bunch of room. I am happy. <laughs> and I'm going to leave it like this for a while until I decide to, uh, decide, decide to actually clean it up and make it probably a little bit better. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, it's, uh, it's working and it's working nice. I've had it run for maybe about an hour when it was like without an upgrade. Cause I, put, I just recently put the upgrade in there and it's just because it wasn't going as fast as i wanted it to but now it's it's fine it's perfect it's perfect for me with what i needed to do and uh what am i doing right now is i'm kind of just like i said well showing off what i built but i need to build a void upgrade that destroys as you can see destroys excess items i need that i need that pretty bad because I need to put these in here so we can destroy all the excess coal, all the excess, excess, um, what are the, what's the word? Wood and all the excess other stuff. Because if it doesn't, the whole farm could grind to a halt, which isn't a problem if the only thing I'm after is, say, the rubber or the charcoal or the wood or the saplings, whatever. That's not a problem because I can harvest that and it'll start up again. But, hello, dungeon. But it'll stop my sludge boiler, and I'd rather the sludge boiler actually work for a while because it's giving me some interesting stuff. It's giving me sand. Sand's nice. It's giving me clay. That clay, that clay is wonderful. Heat sand, I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. Peat, I can use it for fuel. So I'm getting some good stuff out of it. So I'd rather that keep running for at least a while. So I'm not going to actually build the storage, the void storage right now because, or a void upgrade, I, sh I should say, not the storage. Because I've been doing this for a while, I've built and tore down and built and tore down and built and tore down again because I did not actually uh, come into this build with the actual plan in mind of how I wanted to do it. So I just kind of mess with it. And as, as you can tell, that's why it's so messy down there. But yeah, that's 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 enough of this for today. That is totally enough of this for today. So another thing, uh, in the early in the video, I mentioned, hey, why does this harvester have power already? Is that a glitch? That's so weird. Um, my uh, genius self forgot that I had this in my inventory, on, so my capacitor charged it. Yeah, I'm not very smart sometimes. Let's sleep real quick. So yeah, my capacitor charge it, no bug, whatever. My mistake. Um, not very, I'm not very, I'm not very attentive to what the heck's going on around me, I guess, at all. Also, 
this hummus stuff. I was testing it out in here. I was thinking it was going to turn to sand like right away if you grow stuff on it. Yeah, I guess you just have to let it sit there. So I somehow have celery planted in sand. That is awesome. I wonder if I can actually... <laughs> oh, that's cool. I wonder... Hmm. Can you actually plant celery? No, you can't. That's a nifty little... Uh, Aesthetic thing, I guess, if you want to grow your crops in sand, just put down hummus, hummus, whatever this is called. Hummus is the food. I don't know if it's pronounced the same. But if you just want to have crops in that, just in sand, just lay that stuff down, grow your crops, and eventually it'll turn to sand. That's interesting, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm just rambling now at this point. Um, that is all the time I have for today's episode. Thank you all for joining me. And if you liked the video, please hit like. And if you liked it enough to subscribe, please do. If you have any suggestions, feedback, anything, leave it down in the comment section down below. I am all ears to anything at all. Maybe except someone like calling me stupid. I'll be kind of upset, but whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever floats your boat. But yeah. Thank you all for joining me. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care and bye-bye.